Okay, I've uh, I've got the uh, the barrels over the first the two outer pistons, and I've taken the uh, clamps off. So now I've just got the joy of trying to get the uh, center center piston on. So what I'll do now is I'm going to take my uh, I'll knock them down a little bit further now. Now I've got the ring clamps off. And then I'll take the wood out and then we'll turn the engine round a bit, get the get the centre piston up. But obviously as the centre piston comes up, we've got to be careful these the outer ones don't go down too far that they come out again. Uh, and then we've got to try and get the piston ring uh, clamp out, which hopefully we should be able to. Because even, like I say, even with the, the, the clamps, it's, it's, it's awkward. Because if you actually have the lever of the clamp in the wrong place, then it, it, you can't actually unclamp it because it hits one of the studs or the piston next to it. Anyway, well, uh, let's see. That first bit is okay. It's the second bit that's the problem. Right, uh, phew. Yeah, we managed to do it. So uh, now you can see we've got the centre piston, uh, centre piston on there, and uh, managed to get all the uh, all the ring clamps out. Uh, used a magnet and a screwdriver to fish it out, but uh, you know it was right. It went right down. The last clamp went right down into the crankcase, and I, I must say I couldn't get it out. <laughs> it's taken me five minutes to to jiggle that the third clamp back out which you know that's how awkward it is but there we are we're all kind of in now and uh so i just need to tap the barrels down now uh to seat them uh and the, like the barrels are on of course what we don't do is tap them fully home because these studs are so long that they'll go up and they'll virtually touch this fin and then you'll not be able to get the nut on uh, that goes on that stud so we're just going to tap them on to the studs just so the studs are showing enough that we can then get the nut on and then tap them down fully. Okay, there we go. Barrels are now sort of loosely on. Nuts are on, just uh, finger tight. And that's uh, something I meant to mention before. It's always good when you've got the barrels off, run a tap down these the studs. The, the studs for the cylinders because then it's so much easier to spin the nuts down now when you're putting the putting the barrels on if you've got a nice clean thread and these nuts will just spin down rather you know because otherwise they're a pain to get on uh and now anyway now they're down finger tight so now i've got my tricore spanner as you can get from just about any tri you know spares place with a special uh head and that fits on the, uh, the special uh, sort of serrated nuts. So I'm just going to tighten those down. I normally tighten them down. I, I don't use a torque wrench because I haven't got a torque wrench that will fit that. Uh, so I just do them up fairly tight, not like ridiculously tight, but just using this spanner so that it's tight on this spanner and that works for me. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, there is a torque setting and if you've got a fancy torque wrench that works off a spanner, you can buy them, you can torque it, but, but, to be honest, I just do it by feel and do them up just pretty tight with the with, with the normal spanner. Okay, and just turn the engine over, and all oh, looking marvelous. Oh yes, we love watch. We can watch pistons going up and down all day, can't we? Nice and smooth. Obviously, no sign of I haven't broken a ring or anything, which is marvelous. Oh, I miss unseated a ring. Oh, they pop them down. Oh, you could watch it all day, couldn't you? Well, I could. So, just checking that everything's in smooth. Just checking we've got tappets. Yeah, tappets are engaged. Uh -huh. Check that one on the end. Yeah, all good. 